Paul Revere was the first Boston Health Commissioner. Since that time, each town dictates its own public health in general. It was the towns that led the charge to banning smoking in the workplace and in restaurants. The state finally followed, despite great pressures from tobacco lobbyists and restaurant owners at the state level. But it all started at the local level, requiring well over a majority of Massachusetts towns passing this ban. I am Dr. Lester Hartman, the senior pediatrician at Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. I received my master's in public health at the Harvard School of Public Health in 2012, and I have been working for three years um, in the Tobacco 21 campaign in Massachusetts as one of the co-founders. There is nothing you will do in your tenure as a Board of Health member to save more children's lives than this. We all have a right to breathe clean air. Tobacco is the number one cause of preventable death in America today. We know that all lives are important. We know that 90% of lifetime smokers began before age 21. So the longer we can delay tobacco initiation, the less likely a teen will be lifetime addicted to nicotine. In Needham, the first place in the United States to go to 21, there was a 47% reduction in tobacco use in the high school as compared to its neighbor Wellesley, a non-tobacco 21 town, which was only a 17% reduction. What are the factors? First, access. 14 and 15 year olds cannot go to other towns to obtain tobacco products. They don't drive. Second, social distancing. In high school, 14 year olds interact with 18 and 19 year old seniors on a daily basis. Some, some studies show that up to 90% of the tobacco products 14 and 15 year olds will use are obtained from 18 and 19 year old classmates. In fact, the Institute of Medicine feels going to 21 will reduce initiation of tobacco use in 15 to 17 year olds by as much as 12%. Some boards of health expressed about hurting small businesses by going to 21. Our peer reviewed research paper showed that it will only affect 2% of the total tobacco revenue of a business. This argument is used by restaurants in the 1980s when smoking was banned on their premises. Yet, anecdotally, restaurant owners have stated they have, in fact, profited more since people are coming into their smoke-free restaurants and tables are turning over quicker as people don't hang around longer for an after-dinner smoke. Adulthood has never been defined in science. This is a statement made by a brain neuroscientist at the Institute of Medicine. Ask yourself what age you can rent a car. You might be surprised to discover it is 25. So are the brain neuroscientists when they learn this from the car rental industry, and also learn that crash rates don't significantly drop until 25. Crash rates are a measure of judgment, and judgment is in our frontal lobe of the brain. Brain MRIs affirm to neuroscientists that the frontal lobe doesn't fully mature, and hence judgment isn't optimal until 25. During the Vietnam era, 29 states, including Massachusetts, dropped the legal age to 18 to drink. The auto crash rates skyrocketed, and it was a public health threat that caused the federal government to step in. We are asking that the minimum legal purchase age go to 21. As the longer we delay the initiation of tobacco use, the less and less likely our children and young adults will become addicted. Please join us. My email is on the screen right now, and I can help supply more information to your board and even meet with your board of health. We need you. Thank you very much.